I want to introduce you to using a graph and x-intercepts to solve inequalities. So I'm going to show you a quadratic example and a cubic example, but it works for any degree of polynomial as long as it's in a factored form, or if you have a graph and you can find some zeros. Okay. So I know the graph's really hard to see, but I have the equation that's graphed over here on the side. So y equals x squared minus 3x minus 4, which factors into, check my factoring, x minus 4 times x plus 1. Okay, so this is a graph of this equation. So now let me show you how this would relate to a quadratic inequality. So I might ask, when is x squared, let's see if my pen's going to wake up here, minus 3x minus 4 less than or equal to 0. Okay. Well, x squared minus 3x minus 4, right, all of the y values, right, that's the same as y. x squared minus 3x minus 4 is the same thing as y, so I could be asking, when is y less than or equal to 0? Okay. So on a graph, y y's are less than or equal to zero when your graph is below the x-axis. Right, so the y's are negative when it's below the x-axis. But right, I'm asking, for what values of x are my y's less than or equal to zero? Well, notice that my x's cross at negative one, and I know that from my x-intercepts over here. Right, y is zero. My x-intercepts happen if y is 0, and that happens, right, when x is 4 or when x is negative 1. Okay. So 4 and negative 1, that's where we cross my x-axis. So this, when are my y's less than or equal to 0? Well, it's in this little chunk right here. So between x is negative 1, and x is 4. I'm using interval notation. Okay. And I'm using brackets because the inequality has the or equal to part on it. Okay. I might ask for this same graph then, okay, well where then is x squared minus 3x minus 4 greater than 0? Okay. This is just another way to talk about the y values. When are my y values greater than 0? Okay. Well, they're greater than 0 when they're above the x-axis. So if I look at my graph, and this is kind of tricky. So remember, we always start out at negative infinity if we have to, and this time we have to, so I'm over here, right, walking in, and I start above the x-axis out at negative infinity. I'm going to stick my answer over here for this question right here. So negative infinity I'm above, and I stay above, right, I'm walking in, walking in, until I get to negative 1. And then I go below, I'm not interested if, when I'm below, I'm only interested in above. So I keep walking, keep walking, I hit 4, and then I stay above forever after. So if you know your intercepts and a basic idea of the shape of the graph, you can solve these inequalities um, very cleanly. So here's my second example. So this time I have a cubic graph, and I flipped it, but that's okay, we don't care. I have it written factored out here so you can see those points. Let's go ahead and label them up here. So I have uh, an x-intercept with me, negative 3. and positive 2, and positive 5, right? Those all make this equal to 0. So what's an inequality I could write? When is negative x plus 3 times x minus 2 times x minus 5 less than or equal to 0? Okay. Above or below? below. Good job. Okay, so it's below when? When does it start being below? Right, start out there at negative infinity and 
start walking. Nope, above, 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 above. We get to negative 3, so here's my answer. I start being below, less than or equal to 0. At negative 3, I stay below until I get to 2. Put a little union symbol here in case you need to do that. And then it happens again, right? So at negative 2, then I go up, and I stay up for a while, and then I get to 5, and then I go below, and I stay below for there and ever after. Okay. All right. If I ask you that for greater than or equal to 0, do you think you could write an answer? Do you want to try? Okay, you get a head start. I'm going to copy down the problem. Greater than or equal to 0. Here comes the answer on the other side. Negative infinity till negative 3. And then between 2 and 5. Okay, so you need to know a little bit about basic shapes, x-intercepts, and then whether, right, how to interpret that this less than or equal to 0, right, these are the y-values, when are they less than or equal to 0?